Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be showing you something that's landed through my letterbox recently. Uh, the Cool Cats have just come out with this, the Cool Cats Clips. Now I've shown you um, how to make some covered paper clips but this one is a die that actually cuts a paper clip shape. So you can make paper clips which match your project. And they're designed just to hold a little piece of ephemera and everything. Nothing heavy duty, but I think they're just a nice fun element. So when you open your package, you get your main one. So I've already got a piece of black, don't worry, yours won't come with a piece already in. I thought, oh, brilliant. But no, there was more. <laughs> so also in the kit, you can tell I've already done mine. You had all these shapes which make um, the top of your paper clip as well. So when you uh, die cut, you get this and it folds over. And then these dies go on top. Yep, that's the large ones. You can have a circle, you can have a square, or you can have a hexagon. And you do need two, one for the front and back. So in true Cool Cats uh, fashion, you actually get two of each one. And the circle does have some piercing around the edge as well, so there's a nice little extra detail. And that's not all then. That's your... Uh, card stock piece and you can make it to match your project so you've got some matte and layer pieces as you can see it was a circle I chose this time and for the front and back so you can do it all in one pass you get two of each of them as well so there's quite a bit in um, the package so you move them around so to make a paper clip you choose the shape you want and you pick the largest one and you cut that out of your cardstock so I've already done that so here's one and two pieces then you take your smaller one and you cut two pieces of your decorative paper now I've got the um, let it be uh, from graphic 45 so I've cut two of those So how do you make your paper clip? Well, the first job is to glue your paper clip together. So to do that, I'm gonna put some glue on my hand because you need to put some glue on that fine piece here. And you want to cover it all. And then cover that too. And then you're going to line it up and make sure you're getting these pieces aligned. Let's just move them. And then that has made your paper clip. So you can see then it'll hold a piece of cardboard or something underneath. You know, it's not going to hold um, 10 photos or anything, but it's a fun little element to add. So now you want to decorate it because I think the main reason they've done that is because you do get that straight edge from the fold. So we're going to hide that. That is the correct side. So the piercing looks nice. That is then the back. So on the back, I'm going to put a straight line of glue and then glue that largest piece. So this bottom bit is not glued down. That piece 
then is where the bottom of your paper clip goes. So that means when you're putting it on, it's slipping underneath that circle as well. There we go. So when we do this now, I find it easier to do it on my built piece. Because if I did on this, as soon as you turn over, I can't see uh, which bit has been left exposed. And then I was lining it up. And then squeezing it together to get those edges glued down. And it's as simple as that. That's your paper clip done. And you can see it goes, so that little circle bit, because it was exposed, comes down a little bit over the white. And then it's just a case of decorating it as you wish. So yeah, it's going to match my uh, Let It Be project perfectly. So I'm going to put this one on the back, I think. When I say back, there is no back. It just depends which way you put it on if you've got the little bit or the longer piece. But I like the longer piece showing in front. This one has got a little B in it. So let's make sure the B is in a nice position. And there we go. In a couple of minutes, I've got a lovely little embellishment ready to go onto my project. One which is going to match perfectly. I mean, I could even go now and add some glossy accents to the B. You could have pieces sticking out if you're going to decoupage it up. Up to you. But now that will go into your project and to be able to tuck something underneath. So I hope you like that and I'll add a link to the Cool Cats shop and to um, the Cool Cats clips, um, I don't know, was it a page on there thing? So you can go directly to it. But whilst you're there, do have a look at their other dies. They do amazing um, dies for scrapbooking and mini album making, which are generic, so you can use them with any papers. They really are workhorses which can be used um, in every album. I'll also add a link below to my top 10 Cool Cats dies. Oh, not top, top 10, I did just top five. Um, so I'll show you which five dies sets I would recommend you go for. They're useful and yeah, they really do add something to each of your albums. They make things easy as well. So hope you enjoyed. Please give it a thumbs up and head to the Cool Cats um, shop to have a look at what they've got. And if you do make one, if you get them, um, remember to share in Paper Crafter with Paul, which is my Facebook group, and go to the Cool Cats Facebook page as well. So thank you for watching. And I'll see you all again soon.